Hello guys and welcome to another Car Exposed video. So today we have a 2001 Peugeot 307. I believe this is an auction car or a part exchange or something like that. And uh, the problem with it is, apart from, well, apart from the wiper, the rear wiper that is stopped in the middle there, we have this problem, which is ABS light and ESP light on now i've got the maxi cone here i'm gonna scan the car quickly so i'll do i'll see connected to be down here that's it done peugeot oh, i don't know if it's connected yet maybe it was too quick anyway automatic selection Yeah, I think it was too quick. Oh, it's still red. There we go. So 307 van. This is not van. This is a hatchback. Maybe they mean the the van network system. I think for this pages they had a, a van network up until 2007, and then it was it was uh, you know it was kind of standard after 2007. But let's see if we can communicate with it. All right. So diagnosis. Our I'm gonna do an auto scan here to see what we get. All right, interesting enough, no communication with the engine is to you. ABS and ESP. I know a few faults there, but I'm gonna concentrate on those two. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is a 2001 Peugeot 307. I believe the engine ECU might be in the car network and then everything else or most of the other modules will be on the van network. Maybe the ASB, maybe it's the same thing. But this car runs, it drives, the engine starts and everything else and we cannot communicate here. Well, let's see if we can get communicate. Establish communication, obviously we shouldn't. I'm not sure which engine is this one, but. Oh, we can actually communicate. Right, let me try the ABS. That's what we're interested. Again, I don't know what ABS module I have in this car. Okay, we got communication with this one. Grid codes. Fault codes. Right, so three, one, three, three, seven permanent faults. Right, rear right wheel speed sensor, open circuits, or short to positive or short to ground or earth. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good clue. I mean, the lights are being on from the start. Ooh. Is there something wrong with the key? But uh, obviously the engine, uh, the lights being on from the start, you can pretty much see that we have an open circuit or something like that, because we didn't need to move the car to get any code. So let's, ooh, let's see if we can get some live data. Live data, dynamic information. Okay. All right. So, front right, front left, right rear, left rear, and then you can see there. Obviously, we do have a problem. We're stationary in a minute. We're not doing 655 kilometers an hour. <laughs> anyway, let me just move the car. We see you do have a problem in there, right rear. And the other sensors, they are working. So it's about moving the car here in the drive. Obviously you saw data on the front right, front left and rear left. So I think obviously we know we have communication. We have information from the module and it's pointing to the right rear. So I think first thing that I'm going to do, I'm just gonna check the sensor and check for any any corrosion. <clears throat> These Peugeot's, they are notorious for uh, the tone ring or the, the magnetic ring to go bad and um, they give you faults, but being stuck at 655, obviously we do have a different problem. So yeah, not gonna waste any more time. Just gonna lift, take the wheel off, get to the ABS sense and see what we can find. Right guys, so I just had a peek underneath the car there and you can't make these things up. The sensor is missing. 
I'm going to be straight up with you guys. But why do I have a feeling that it's not going to be just a case of replacing the sensor or fitting a new sensor in? Yeah. I've ordered a new sensor now. Hopefully, it should be here in about an hour. Well, let me show you. I'm not going to stop the camera. So, there you go. So, the sensor is hanging there. Let me, let me get some light. It's going to be hard to, to show, but... Yeah, there's no sensor in there at all. You can probably see from the side here. That's our magnetic ring there on the bearing. And the sensor should be here. And we've got our plug there. Plug looks all right. But I'm going to spray some uh, electrical cleaner in there. And um, I just ordered a new sensor. Hopefully it'll be here in about an hour. But... I just have the feeling this is not going to be as easy as that, so I'm going to have to wait and see. All right, guys, so I removed the disc, uh, the brake caliper. Brake caliper is just hanging there by the cable. It's not straining the, the hydraulic line at all because I can't really fix any anywhere up. Brake carrier removed, and as you can see here, the bearing looks quite good, but now we know why that wasn't replaced before because they broke the bolt so the sensor goes right here let me see if I can show you through this hole here can I show you well, let me get let me get a light all right so hopefully you can see it now there we go so they snapped the bolt in and they didn't bother putting another another sensor in probably now it's gonna be a pain for me because I, I don't don't have a up in the eye set so I don't know what I'm going to do now anyway you'll find a way to to remove that that bolt and and try to get another sensor the sensor hasn't arrived yet but if I if I have to carry on tomorrow and try to get another tap tap in die set I'll I'll do that tomorrow so at least it's good news I was thinking it was, it was going to be another problem because obviously yeah they didn't bother putting one back but uh, yeah good fun all right guys so i decided to take the whole hobby off so just four bolts t50 sorry four bolts t50 and is is off now it's going to be a lot easier for me to drill from the back than reach in there so a little bit more control let me clean it up so just so we can see the screw a little bit better Apply some penetrating oil and there's a bunch of rust here as well so we're going to clean that make it nice and flat right oh I can see the other side now <laughs> I don't know if I should try to use my removing tool here now let me try it or well, I might have to use a bigger a bigger drill bit if it grabs it it would be fantastic I doubt it will though Side. All right, guys. So I just clean the the hub, the surface for the brake disc. I got my way around to. To put some threads in that hole there as you can see 
So now we can fit the new bolt. Right, so I've got the new sensor here and I've got a new bolt, where did I put it? So that's the new bolt here. I cleaned the surface here for the ABS sensor. Hopefully it's going to be in the right position for us. And the hole will match up as well, that's very important. Right, so there we go. Let me put this bolt in and I'll show you in a second. I had a manual around to drill this new threads here because I didn't have any, any tapping die set so I just bought one so hopefully next time I'll be better prepared. Right, there we go, that's in. And I cleaned the, the magnetic ring here as well. Let me show you the gap. Right, so it's fits really nicely now. New bolt. And as you can see, the gap there is pretty good. The magnetic ring is cleaned up, so it's not hitting the sensor. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm just going to put everything back now. And hopefully, it's going to work. guys so it's all all finished so I fitted the new sensor in the right bracket there I didn't have to put a cable tie in there because there's a, a bracket missing there you can actually see right, this, the new sensor there all right so just gonna refit everything all the brake parts and then we're looking to some live data now just gonna put the ignition on for the first time, where's the keys? So I'm finishing this work in the dark. It's not that late, it's only past four o'clock, but it's already kind of dark, so. All right, ignition on. You should have a, oh, there you go. So the ABS light's gone out now. I put the engine on. I started. That's good. All right, so no more lights. Let's check on our uh, Maxcom here. Uh, history. Let's read some codes. Right, so it says intermittent now. So I'm gonna click that. Erase codes. Live data. Dynamic information. So there you are, so zero kilometers per hour. Put those two guys on. Show selected here. And I'm gonna move the car again. <clears throat> Let's see. Of course, it should be okay. Let me reverse it. So there we go. Forward. We're going to just move a little bit. So there you go, guys. I thought it was going to be something a little bit more sinister than that, but uh, it makes sense now. Um, obviously, they broke the bolts, and they couldn't be bothered to put the sensor back in. And another fun funny thing is, my friend was here when I was finishing the job and I never looked inside the glove compartment there's another sensor here so I was never told I guess I have to look in, inside the car to have a look for parts but there's another another sensor here exactly the same Let's see if I can show you there we go brand new never used but uh, yeah Funny how what you can find in this auction cars and, and part exchange or whatever. So, sorted now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys get something out of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.